hi everyone in today's video we are going to solve a problem which is related to the tree data structure and the problem is symmetric tree right so in this tutorial i am going to discuss i am going to explain both iterative and regressive approach to solve this problem so first we will understand the problem statement then we will discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem and finally we will write its code so let's discuss the problem statement first so in this problem we have given the root of a binary tree and we have to check whether it's a mirror of itself right symmetric around its center so considering the binary tree right so in this problem only binary tree is mentioned so a binary tree is symmetric if the nodes of a left subtree if the nodes of a left subtree right is a mirror reflection of the right subtree is the mirror reflection of the right subtree so let me simplify further so let's assume if we can fold the tree from the center so this is the center and if we can fold the tree from the center then the nodes of the left subtree the nodes so this one this one this one can be exactly placed on the nodes of the right subtree right on this one this one this one so <coughs> if we fold this tree from the center then this node can be placed exactly on this the values are also same right this node can be placed exactly on this right and this node can be exactly placed on this right so we can say that this tree is symmetric right so now let's take the second example this tree is not symmetric right so let's draw the center and fold this tree from the center and try to place the nodes exactly on the right subtree nodes right so place the left subtree node exactly on the right subtree nodes so this two can be placed here right so that's not the problem but if you see this is the right child of this node right and if we fold and placed here it will be placed here right so it it is not exactly placed on the right subtree nodes right so it's not the mirror reflection of the right subtree so it's not symmetric so this is the problem statement and i hope you have understood the problem statement so let's first discuss the iterative approach then after that we will solve this problem using a recursive approach we have already discussed what it means to be the symmetric around its center similarly to check if it is the mirror of itself we have to divide the tree into two parts just for solving this problem right we have to divide the tree into two parts and check if the left part if the left part is the mirror image of the right part right and how we can check that so starting from the root node which is not null take its left child right its left node and take its right node right and compare the values right so both are same right so now take the left node take the left child of this node and take the right child of this node right and compare it so compare this so both are same right now take the right node right child of this node and left child of this node and compare it right so this is how we are going to solve this problem and for iterative for solving this problem iteratively i am going to use stack data structure right and we follow the similar approach right so let's discuss our iterative approach let's visualize this approach so starting from the root node it is not null right so take its left child take its right child 
so let's push them in a stack so let me push them in a stack right and after that what we have to do we have to pop the values let's consider it's node 1 let me write n1 and let's write n2 right so we pop both the values from the stack and we assign them in a temporary variable right so after that what we have to do for this node consider n1 and n2 so this is n1 and this is n2 so definitely the uh, values in these variables can be reassigned further so now this is n1 node and this is n2 node right so so these two nodes are not null right and their values are exactly same if the values are if the values are different definitely we return false that it is not symmetric right so we have to take its left and we have to take its right so let's push them in a stack so three and three after that we have to take its right and take its left and push them in a stack this four and four right so then after that pop this value so this one and this one so the value of n1 here is 4 and n2 is 4 right and again do the same process take its left and take its right both are null so put them null so i am writing n as a null right so take its right take its left both are null put them here right right so similarly for this also this three also similar process take its left this is for n2 right <clears throat> this is so uh, this one is done sorry not the three first now we have to pop both right so both are null we don't have to do anything right so we just keep continuing again these two values the two values so we have to take two nodes at a time because we are checking whether this left part is the mirror image of the right part right so again both are null so we have to pop this value and don't have to do anything similarly now these on, these are the only two values present in a stack so basically these values this cross mark values are already popped out from the stack so on the top of the stack so this is only these two values are left in the stack so after that we pop this value and we pop this value and again its left is null its right is null its right is null its left <coughs> is null right so we again push them in a stack and for the for the null values we don't have to do anything right and once the stack is empty there is no so there is no values left in the stack we and the tree traversal is complete and till now we have not found any node values which is not equal it means it's a symmetric and we return true so this is the code of this approach which i have explained so if the root is null return true we don't have to do anything it's already symmetric declare a stack stack which holds the value of this type tree node type and push its left and right in a stack right and then run a loop because we have to traverse the complete tree so pop these two values as the stack is not empty pop these two values so this node this node right and first if it's null continue we don't have to do anything just repeat the system else if any of the values is null let's say if this node is null but this node is not null so definitely it's not asymmetric and it, or if the values are not equal suppose if it is 3 and it is 2 again it's not asymmetric right we return false 
else what we have to do is take the first node take its left value take its right value right so this is what we are pushing them in a stack then next time take its right and take its left right so this is what we are doing and again the loop is repeating and it repeats until the stack is not empty again we do the same step we pop the two node values we check these conditions right if it is null we continue so remember this when the null comes we don't have to do anything we simply repeat else if any of the two node values let's suppose if it is null right and it is not null so definitely it's not a mirror image it's not a symmetric right and if let's say instead of null it is 5 and it is 3 again it's not a mirror image right so we return false else again we push its left its right its right its left right so this is the iterative approach to solve this problem so let's talk about its time complexity its time complexity is big o of n and its space complexity is also big o of n right so now let's discuss our next approach which is recursive approach to solve this problem let's discuss the recursive approach in recursive approach also we follow the similar methodology we follow the similar pattern which we followed in uh, iterative so we start from the root node right we take its left child and its right child we compare its value right we move to this node so the left child of this node and the right of this node again it is same then the left of this node and the right of this node and both are null so again if both are null we consider it's symmetric right then the right of this and the left of this right after that there is nothing left right so we came back here right and then we go to this node and this node right we compare the values it's it's <coughs> equal then the left the right then the right and then the left right then again we can <coughs> come back here then we again come back here and then we return true because it's symmetric right so if you see the recursive code so first condition is again if root is null return true we don't have to do anything else take the left and right and compare all the node values recursively so first when we are taking two nodes the first condition is if both are null right if both the nodes are null return true if any of the null and other one is not null return false if the values are not equal return false else take the values this left and right for comparison and do it recursively that's why after this we land on this node and we do it <coughs> recursively when null is encounter we return true so we come back we check its right we check its left then again when null is encounter it returned true so we came back to the previous node and then this so this other condition is basically in first when we are doing the recursive call we are checking the left and right part and the another one we are checking its <coughs> right and the other node left right and for uh, a tree to be symmetric both the condition to be true right so this is how this recursive code works again the time complexity of this approach is also big o of n and its space complexity is also big o of n so here we are not explicitly using any stack but the 
call stack are placed in a stack and definitely each recursive call puts the call in a call stack right so for traversing all the nodes so for traversing all the nodes we have put the call in a so this recursive code put the call in a call stack so internally it uses the stack memory right so that and that is why the space complexity is also big o of n so i hope you understood both the approaches iterative and recursive approach and if you like this video please share with your friends and colleagues and plus please press the like button and if you have not subscribed this uh, so our youtube channel please subscribe our youtube channel press the bell icon so that whenever we upload a new video you will get the notification so that's it for this video tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial thank you for your time